my name is Victoria Wilmot and I'm an illustrator and printmaker based in Bristol and I create my illustrations from lino cut stamps and um, often they have a sort of sense of narrative or a, a sense of place or journey that goes with the, with the um, illustration. They're often very colourful and vibrant as that's what I love to add um, into my drawings and prints. So I've always been really interested in drawing and painting and just pursuing a creative um, career dream of sorts and so I did study illustration, um, well I did an art foundation first then I studied illustration at Camberwell College of Arts in London and that was a, a really wonderful course I thought for me it was really useful because it kind of opened up my mind to not just illustration but creative arts opportunities and collaborating with other artists and then from there I lived in London for a few years and um, worked with a couple of art space charities but I always wanted to kind of work on my own portfolio and um, so I took a leap of um, faith I guess moving to Bristol I just wanted to focus on my practice so I uh, enrolled on a master's degree course in multidisciplinary printmaking and so on the course I explored lots of different printmaking um, techniques and uh, it just kept going back to lino printing and yes there was a, a period I think when we were doing a developing practice module where you were encouraged to sort of try you know see where your sort of specialism lay and uh, for me I was just sort of enjoying that playing process and I wanted to keep doing that um, but without all of the waiting around in different print studios for um, plates to dry or be etched and I found that when I was carving lino it was so immediate and um, I could print with it directly with stamp pads and that kind of gave me a freedom to yeah, to make sort of colourful and playful prints quite quickly. So yes, that's where I um, did what I did for my final degree show was um, some sort of playful maps, which you can see in the background. So I find inspiration um, from sort of taking time out from a working day or um, being in the studio and um, going on a bike ride, taking my sketchbook and just seeing like little things that you'd maybe just not notice if you were too busy and you had to get somewhere. So kind of having a, a chance to, you know, roam somewhere and walk about and, and notice things. So it could be from seagulls sitting on the rooftop and um, sketching them before they sort of fly off or sometimes drawing structural buildings is quite inspiring because you start to make sense of how that building came to be there how old it might be and um the stories the people that might have lived there and um especially i love drawing people because they all everyone has their own little characters um from the way they walk or the clothes they wear um so i think I'm quite I'm inspired by by the world but by just sort of watching and observing the day-to-day -day. um yeah the everyday so my favorite thing that I made um recently was my or is my lockdown sketches book so obviously being in lockdown was a real sort of shift of day-to-day -day life and um rather than being able to come to the studio. I was at home, but I had just moved to a place just outside of Bristol. And so I just made these really vivid pastel sketches of things that I saw um, from the, you know, hourly exercise we were allowed. You know, often we'd, or we'd just be at home and we, this is just like views from my window or really local walks um, for me. So. And I hadn't really explored them before, so I was just giving myself a chance to slow down and not have to, 
you know, produce loads of work all the time and actually just take in a breath and um, be in nature. So, yeah, I love this sort of period that I allow for myself to just sort of sketch and not worry about the results. But in the end, the uh, sketches I started sharing online and people really loved them. And I think a lot of people who live in the sort of centre of cities were, um, you know, they, they found kind of like um, a sort of joy that um, they could have from looking at these drawings. Um, and yeah, so I made one of those and then I made another one, which is lockdown sketches too. And it's the same format. So this is the same size as my sketchbook. And um, this was a little bit later in the summer when we could visit other people with a bit of distance. And yes, so they are the same kind of format where I've got these vivid pastel sketches, all drawings from life all from just sitting outside for up to like two hours drawing these views yeah so that's my favorite thing because it's sort of a finished product that i can hold in my hands and i've printed two um versions of this because i sold out of the first edition so that's really great um if you have wanting some kind of like nostalgia or even just a kind of like memory of like this weird time we've all had to live through in really different circumstances but there's this shared kind of like um love of being outdoors which i think we all kind of had so. mm -hmm. so i'm looking forward to spending the summer um outside drawing but also in the studio um producing new work so i'm trying to design a little book which is going to be sort of daily um or like a, a daily journey on my bike and things that i see or things that i collect and it's not quite finished so i can't tell you where it's going to but it's something i'm going to work towards this summer to have ready so that's what's coming up and yeah i've always kind of um i started making maps like three years ago of bristol and they've always been one-offs um so i'd like to sort of work on a series that has um, a bigger edition and um yes develop my shop from the from those new prints mm -hmm.